Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we're going to do a video on a 2021 Grand Design Imagine. The model number is going to be 17 MKE. And we're also going to compare it to a Grand Design Imagine. And this is going to be the 22 RBE. And the reason why I want to do this is this RV here is basically 22 feet long. And the 22 RBE is going to be 26 feet long. So I want to show you what the difference in these lengths will give you inside. So this will be a part one of part two. Part two, I'll show you guys this one. But I really want to show you this one because this one is so small. But it really does work well if you are a couple, maybe with a small child. Let's get into it. Up front, they do insulate the front cap with this travel trailer. They do give you two 20 pound propane tanks, electric jack. And one thing that they do that I like is they do give you a coiled breakaway switch. I mean, this is a lot better than having that long cord that you have to wrap around the frame, but this is a lot easier. A lot of manufacturers don't do this and they're doing this from the factory. Now check out your storage compartment on this side. They do give you two latches and a lock in the center and it does have a magnet to hold the door. And I would say this is pretty decent for this size RV. Like that they don't give you carpet. They give you light on both sides, which is an upgrade from most RVs. And one thing I do like is they're using aluminum steps too. And although these aren't like a step above, these do get the job done. They're easy to put in and out. And if you keep your RV in storage, it's easy to get inside your camper without having those big steps too. Grand Design is using a 14 foot awning. They give you outside speakers and they do have a place here to fill your water tank here. Now, if you would like to watch TV outside, they do give you a cable hookup and power, and it is a GFCI. And one thing that Grand Design does, and they're doing it a lot more on their travel trailers and fifth wheels, is adding spray porch. This is good. That way you can wash off your campsite and you can wash off your steps before you put them away. And this is riding on 14 inch wheels, wrapped in ST2057514. And these tires are going to have a 2,040 pound capacity per tire. And you do not have an upgraded suspension on this fifth wheel. Check out your windows on the side. And as I mentioned, you have those two speakers. And this is going to be the back where your stove is here. You'll see that when we go inside. Now out back, they just give you a standard bumper. I have noticed that some people will put their sewer hoses inside of here. So that's a good idea if you would like to try that. Here's the back jacks. And you do have propane hookup on this side surprisingly they do give you a ladder to go up on the roof every light that you see on the outside is going to be LED they give you prep for a backup camera and this will be the back of your uh, Dometic refrigerator they give you a suburban heater and then this is also going to be a Dometic hot water heater this will be gas and electric and it also has a 17.8 gallon hot water heater which is bigger than my fifth wheel so if you want to take long showers Grand Design has you covered now this does have 30 amp. I almost said 50 because I'm so used to doing fifth wheel reviews. And then on this side, you do have your black tank flush up top, right here. They give you a light for your dump area. So you have your black and gray tank valves that you can pull. And then your low hanging drain points if you wanna put the RV up for the season. And I do like that you only have one area to dump from on this travel trailer. Wow, check out how small this fifth wheel is. This is really small. And this slide is going to be a Schwintech slide system. And these are going to be laminated walls. I say this all the time. A lot of fifth wheel manufacturers use black material. And Grand Design does not. They actually go a step above, give you laminated wall. This is going to keep the hot temperatures out of the RV. And I'm glad that they do that. And on this side, this is the other area for your storage. And this is where your outside shower will be battery disconnect now when you hook up the city water you can just run your hose in here you can fill your fresh water tank from this area here so that's pretty cool that they do that for you and they still give you power uh, your satellite and cable hookups and like I mentioned on the other side you have a light on this side too which comes in handy when it's really dark outside trust me I've had to come out here many times at night for my fifth wheel and I wish I had a light on this side of my storage area. All right, so let's go ahead and check out what's inside. Oh, look who it is. 
It looks like you're comfortable. You ready to trade out of that 40 foot fifth wheel and get a small one? How big is this one? I believe it's 22 foot. Wow. Yeah, so she already has it done up for you guys too. So the reason why we're going to compare, and I'll let Hannah go into it, but just check this out. I mean, make sure you get everything in because like I said, when we do the other fifth wheel, or excuse me, travel trailer review, I keep saying fifth wheel. Cause we, this is our first travel trailer together. Just so you know too. You, do you know that too? Yeah. So this is our very first travel trailer. I've been trying to do travel trailers for so long because I get so tied up in fifth wheels because I'm not as comfortable with travel trailers because we never owned one before. This is the first one. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Han, what do you think about this interior? I really like it. I like the colors and the design they picked out for the floors, the cabinets, the countertops. It's a residential size countertop. It feels like with the residential sink you get the easy bake oven and microwave i like that they put your control panel behind tinted glass in here they just did a really good job something that i have not seen yet is this design which oh. is kind of cool it's like a little chrome accent but it looks good against the uh that color wood I like that they give you a mirror that matches the travel trailer, the roller blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Too low. Okay. Here. There you go, guys. Nice. It works. But I do like this travel trailer a lot. Um, I would say if I was single, I would pick something like this or if it was just Justin and I although even with another person having the bed in the living room there's like no separation yes. of space so unless you're parked somewhere where you have a lot of great outside space and outside table um, if you're in here primarily most of the time like you're working from home and your partner's working from home I think this would feel a little bit cramped to me now, as Hannah said, there is a lot of storage. You have storage below this couch, and you have storage, like nightstands on each side. They do give you power plugs. You do have USBs just below, and again, just more storage. This is kind of like your closet, I guess. And what's this bed called again? A Murphy bed. This is a Murphy bed, and this couch does flip out. I'm going to have Hannah show you guys how all this works, because she did it, I didn't. So, you want to take it from here? Mm-hmm. So that was easy. So Hannah figured out that it's easier to take the base off from the top and just start with that base first then put the top on. So this is something if you are looking at this RV that you should do, it makes it life a lot easier. But again, I like this setup. This is a really nice little RV. Like I really like the design. As Hannah said, colors look great. One thing that's very appalling, this is a 15K AC unit. This thing should keep this RV pretty chilled in the summertime yeah. if you do want to hang out in the RV. And out back here, I'm gonna let Hannah show you guys, but I know what she's gonna say about this door on the side. I love this pocket door. Yep. Especially for small spaces. The bathroom is small, as most RV bathrooms are, but it's, again, just enough room. There is good countertop space. You have an outlet. Again, plenty of cabinet space above and below. have some cubbies here if you wanted to put some towels or other items and they give you a fan up top mm -hmm. and just to show you guys the design for this door that's how you would open and close it just slides open a lot of people online on another grand design video said this does tear pretty easily so you might want to maybe consider maybe doing a curtain rod or something like that but I do like the design of this. Now, as far as the toilet goes, it's gonna be porcelain. And they do give you a little tiny sink too. 
taking a look at the numbers, this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,395 pounds. You have two axles, each are going to be 3,000 pounds. Your unloaded vehicle weight is going to be 4,788 pounds with your options. There's only one option you can have, so they're going to probably weigh about the same. And then your total cargo carrying capacity is 1,567. So if you add this number plus your unloaded vehicle weight, it should give you the gross vehicle weight rating. Now, base price for this uh, travel trailer is going to be twenty-four thousand two seventy-five, and everything that you see in gray is going to be mandatory. The only option you have is for the theater dinette booth, and that's going to be four hundred nineteen dollars. And if you add that, which this travel trailer has, it's going to be twenty-nine thousand one hundred six dollars. Everything else down here is not really an option; it's just certification and state seals. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to show you guys the 22 RBE, which is a little bit bigger. It's about 30 foot compared to 22 foot. And we'll show you guys the difference between that space. See you soon.